Hey, phone sites users. So let's assume that you've set up a follow-up sequence for your leads to get either uh, a combination of emails or SMS messages uh, or just one of those. Um, and you get a response from the lead and you need to remove them from the remainder of the, uh, the follow-up sequence. That way they're not hit with the, the additional messages. Maybe you've already set up a, a time to, to speak with them or something like that. And it doesn't make any sense for them to continue to getting messages from phone sites for you. So what you can do is if you go into phone sites and go into your funnel from the dashboard, go to the leads tab and then locate your lead. You can search for your leads. So I can do a search for me and find all my uh, previous entries here, or I can go in here and find um, this most recent uh, lead in here. But if you click on this little arrow here, click on this, and then on this little window that pops up here, you can see the same information that we saw right over here but you've got this option over here for follow-up sequence. You can see um, that they're still in the sequence so that I could go ahead and remove this person, I can remove Tess, so that they're not gonna get any additional uh, SMS or email um, messages that will be sent out. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove Tess so that they do not get any more messages. And then I can close this. If I wanted to delete the lead, I could, but I'm not, I'm gonna keep this in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and close this. And after that's done, there we go. So this test lead, they're not going to get the second message that I had set up for them. They're only, they're only going to get the first one that I had set up. So there we go. So we can confirm. All right. They're not going to get that next message. Let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this helps, guys. <clears throat>